This is Melanie Fine with Chem in 10. Today we're going to discuss the Lewis-Dot structure of chlorine dioxide. To draw the Lewis-Dot structure, we first determine the number of valence electrons. Chlorine, which we have one of, has seven valence electrons, and oxygen has six valence electrons. Since we have two atoms of oxygen and chlorine dioxide, that's a total of 12 valence electrons. So altogether we have 19 valence electrons to work with. So we'll arrange the atoms so that the singular atom is in the middle. To form the bonds, each bond takes two electrons, so we have used four electrons. So we have 15 electrons remaining. We want to distribute the remaining electrons so that everyone has a full outer shell. It's going to be a little challenging with an odd number of electrons. Let's start with the oxygens. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Notice that chlorine doesn't have a full octet. But let's use formal charge to determine if this is a viable Lewis dot structure for chlorine dioxide. Remember, formal charge is the number of valence electrons minus the number of non-bonding electrons minus one half the number of bonding electrons, or I like to call that minus the number of bonds. So for each oxygen, each oxygen comes with six valence electrons minus the number of non-bonding electrons, which are these. So that would be six. Minus the number of bonds, and each oxygen has one bond. So each oxygen would have a negative one formal charge. Let's look at chlorine. So let's say the other oxygen is negative one as well. Then we look at chlorine. Chlorine starts off with seven valence electrons. The number of non-bonding electrons is two and three. Minus the number of bonds is one and two. So that has a formal charge of plus two. So overall, we have a formal charge of zero, which is what we want, but we really want the individual formal charges to be as close to zero as possible. Um, it is good that oxygen is more negative than chlorine because oxygen is the more electronegative atom. But this doesn't look to be the ideal Lewis dot structure. Generally, when we don't have enough electrons, what we do is we look for double and triple bonds. So let's do that. Since, since chlorine in the middle doesn't have enough electrons, it only has seven, let's look at double and triple bonds. So we can take these two electrons and draw them here so that now we have a double bond. What this does to the formal charge is as follows. The central chlorine, of course, has seven valence electrons as usual. It now, it still has three non-bonding electrons, but it now has three bonds. So it has a formal charge of plus one, which is a little bit better than plus two. The oxygen on the left stays the same. That still has a formal charge of negative one. So this is plus one. And the oxygen on the right, six valence electrons minus four non-bonding electrons minus two bonds is going to be zero. So this is looking a little bit better. Remember the oxygen on the left has a negative one. So we still add up to zero and our chlorine, the formal charge of chlorine is a little bit reduced. What we can try next is to form another double bond between the other chlorine and oxygen and see what happens. You may be asking, well, can we do that? Can we add so many electrons ar around chlorine? Remember, chlorine wants an octet. We first only had seven electrons around chlorine. Now we have two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven electrons around chlorine. Does that work? Recall also that if you have too many electrons around the central atom, you, f you check if the central atom is in the third to seventh periods. Remember that if the central atom is within the in the third to seventh periods, it can have an expanded valence because some of those d orbitals kick in and they can hold other electrons in addition to the eight. So when we look at the periodic table, we see that chlorine here is in the third period, so it can have an expanded valence. So let's now calculate formal charge again. Chlorine, so chlorine has seven valence electrons now it's got three non-bonding electrons still, but now it's got one, two, three, four bonds. So it's 
formal charge is zero. Oxygen on the left has six valence electrons minus four non-bonding electrons minus two bonds, which is zero, and oxygen on the right is exactly the same. So now the total formal charge is zero, but the formal charge of each one of the atoms is also zero, so this is our ideal Lewis dot structure for chlorine dioxide given the formal charges. For more great videos like this and to learn how to turn copper into gold, go to chemin10.com. This is Melanie Fine of Chemin10.